In previous videos, I showed you how to make this low content book, all of the insides, and now I'm going to show you how to make the cover using PowerPoint. The first thing I have to do is show you where I found this template and how I was able to put it into PowerPoint. Now once I show you this, you're going to have all the answers that you need to create your own. But let me show you how I did this, just in case you decide to do a different size book. The first thing that I did was went to the cover templates. I'm going to put the link down below, so all you have to do is copy and paste. And then we end up here. Our book is 8.5 by 11. There are 104 pages, and the paper color is white, so we're going to download the cover template. It does come as a zip, but I have no problem opening it with this computer. So I just say, OK, and it downloads. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. It comes with two files inside. One is a PDF, and one is a PNG. You're going to notice that the dimensions for this file is 5249 by 3375. This is important, except these are in pixels and not inches. And of course, PowerPoint uses inches. But we can fix that, because guess what? We just go on the internet, find some place to convert for us. And of course, that's what I did. So I converted the pixels. So it turns out that the cover for this book needs to be 17.49 by 11.25. Now all we have to do is just like we did for the interior. View, master slide, of course we're there already. I'm going to click actually the master slide link here. Slide size. And you'll see I put 17.5 by 11.25. For some reason, PowerPoint likes to round so I just figured, let's just make it 0.5, life won't end. And I say OK. Then what I did, I'm just going to delete this. I just went to Insert, went to my pictures, inserted it. It fits perfect, beautiful, awesome. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the master view. And we have a lot of gunk there. So I'm going to open a blank one. Now don't worry about this because this is in the slide so you can't move this anywhere. All right, here's our cover. I'm going to insert a picture. It is going to be from our St. Valentine's clip art. And I'm going to put in the frame that we used. All right, no, this is the right side or the front side front side cover, front cover, yep, of our book. And I'm going to place it about right here. Let's go back to remind, what do we call this? Oh, My Cat Stories. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so insert text box, My Cat Stories. We need to change the font. Now, I did not change the font in our slide view which is okay, because we'll just go down here and find it. It is our, starts with an L. <laughs> I was like, what is it called? Literally natural. I'm going to make it really big here. Ooh, oh, whoops. Look at that. All right. So that looks neat. But here's the thing. This back is really driving me crazy. So let's put a background. So I'm going to insert shapes. And let's just stick a background there. And I'm going to right click, send back. Ew, I don't like the blue. We're going to go to shape, fill, eyedropper. And let's just choose something. Let's say we're going to choose this. Ooh, it's a little dark. A little dark for me. Um, What about this one? Oh. That one's not so bad. So right now is just a preference. What do you like? So I had it. I think I had it. Hey, that's not half bad. All right, we're going to leave it like that. So this is our front cover, My Cat Stories. The back, it seems kind of dull. Let's go to Format. Uh, oh, first we have to change it to a picture. So we're going to right-click. Cut, right click, paste as a picture. Now we can do some cool stuff to it. We can make some corrections. We want it lighter. 
Hmm, those aren't bad. Uh, maybe a different color. Artistic effects. So this is what I was looking for. To give the background some kind of like, I don't know, unboring stuff maybe. That's not so bad. That really isn't so bad. Let's look at our colors. Sorry, our correction. And let's see. When I change, of course I changed it to the same color. That wasn't too bright. <laughs> um, a little darker. Mm, no, I think we're going to go with the light. Way pink. I don't know. Mm. Ah, I'm having a hard time. I think we're going to leave it like that. All right. You're going to notice that we have a line around this. I don't want that. And so we're going to have no outline. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the back, okay, the back of the book. What's really cool about these designs that I picked is that there's also, okay, where is it, where is it, here we go backgrounds. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. Let's see. I don't see any with our cat, but we do have, this is kind of nice. I kind of, I kind of like that. So we're going to insert that. Now, if you noticed, I used the PNG, which means it has a transparent background. So what that means is the background we chose will come through. There's a couple things you should remember. So this part is going to get cut off. Well, let me show you. Let's just go into the presentation. And this is actually what it's going to look like. Here's my front cover and here's my back cover. And I think it looks awesome. Hopefully you think so too. The next thing we have to do is not only do we have to have a title, but we also have to have an author when we put it into Amazon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to open another screen and I'm going to paste it because I want to keep it. The reason is, is I need to put either the author here or the author down here. It's kind of your preference. I like it in here, but you're going to notice it has to be really small. I'm going to go by Frugal Catherine. That's my pen name. And I'm going to flip it here so you can see that it's not fitting, right? It's not fitting in there. So it has to be smaller. And I'm not going to be able to use this font because the font is too crazy to fit in there. So let's make it smaller. We're going to zoom in here so you can kind of see. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Yep, that's fitting just right. But now we have to decide where do I want it? Do I want it on the top? I think most of the time you're gonna find author names near the bottom. So let me make this a little larger so I can get it set correctly. Okay, I'm gonna use my arrows. All right, I think that might be good. I'm not sure about the G. Let's just try a different different yeah all the well that one's not so bad I think that one actually that will fit yep we're gonna use that one all right then I'm gonna go back here copy right click paste I have to right click send it back and guess what we're done that's it that's my cover what yeah I'm going to show you some other cool stuff. Let's click on our picture here. Let's go to format. Let's say I didn't like this color. Go into colors and we can just start changing them. How cool is that? I know. I mean, it's ugly. I'm not going to keep it like that. But that's not so bad, right? You can choose anything you want. Go back to the original. Color corrections. Oh, you know, that's kind of nice makes it a little more clear. oh that's even better let's go to this one and let's try color corrections on this one that's better I like that it's more bright definitely more bright you could also
do some artist effects like we did for the background. Ew. But it's your preference, but I think you we're going to go back to the original. All right. Next step is we're going to save this. And I'm going to save it. We can save this as a JPEG because Amazon will take a JPEG. JPG. Okay, just this one. We only we have two slides, but we don't just this one. But my recommendation is to save it as a PDF. That's what I do. All right. And that's it. The next video, I'm going to show you how we upload all this and get our book into review. Make sure to watch the next one.